All right, this week's improvement's so big, I had to start early. James went ahead and helped Rob with his 3D printer. They found out that there were some adjustments when it was built that were wrong. So they went ahead and corrected those, and now it's printing well. This is their first successful, successful model off the printer once they learned that supports were a necessary thing. Darren and I helped Casey cut a board last week, and we thought she was going to bring another one. We weren't sure if it was right, and she didn't. But we need to get it cleaned up. Darren took care of that for us. Thank you, Darren. He also went ahead and simplified our new hire package so we don't have two separate packets anymore. Now we only have one. One less thing to keep track of, and it's just as easy for new hires. He also found the vacuum. It was in two different pieces and in two different places. Well, now it's together in one piece. We also had to have a plumber out to work on a urinal, and he found out what kit we need to work on our urinals, and he went ahead and kept this one, and we're going to build an SOP on how to fix urinals in the future. Rob showed us how to take the hose off the vacuum so we can better clean out the rugs in the front. These rugs are great at taking things off the shoes. Unfortunately, they're not great about le letting the dirt go once it's off your shoes. He also went ahead and used this technique in the back. It appears on the rugs because these look fantastic. Well, he also straightened up the shelves and all of the tools back in this area. Thanks, Rob. Looks great. James went ahead and took the tape off of the feed guys for our partition assemblers and replaced them with new ones. The old ones were broken. That's why they were taped. But apparently, after some work, we found out the tape was also on there because of the gap that was between the two. So... Jay helped notice that, and James went ahead with his help to cut some duct tape down and put it on there. It looks premium. Thanks, guys. James went ahead also and replaced uh, a handle where this nut and wrench was so that all he has to do is use this handle to adjust the height of the table like it was designed. Way easier. Thanks. Rob went ahead and let us know that these bins are only for corrugated scrap, not for trash. These go up, the sh up into our bales of corrugated. We can only have corrugated. Bernie and Dalton showed us how they went ahead and repaired their scrap cart back in the uh, sheet cart in the back. It looks way better. Thanks, guys. Nice job keeping it premium. All right, so Stephanie went to the freezer yesterday and noticed that it was all frozen when she went to get the ice pack. So not sure what happened. Not sure if the door got bumped open or if I bought too many novelty treats. But went ahead and cleaned it up. Borrowed Rob's fan. Put it in there, about 20 minutes all cleared out, and then uh, put it back in there after taking the opportunity to clean it. Looks great. Thanks for letting us know, Steph. Russ requested some packout brackets, and I printed two of them because it was a dual packout, and I created this little jig to help pull them up. Well, it didn't work all that well. So second time, printed this one with some stops in it, see if it works any better. It didn't, so we're on a third version. 